hi guys thank you so much for joining me today um for my old subscribers hello everybody thank you so much for being so loyal to me for my new subscribers you guys are welcome to the awesome family and um for those of you just passing through i hope you enjoy yourself i'll be talking about uh, the foundations that are within a hundred ghana cities um, budget so if you if you have or if you've been wanting to buy foundations that are very affordable i think this is the best video for you and also um I'm going to leave down the list of shops and beauty stores I buy my products from. Yes, you can get your stuff also from them as well. I'll be talking about the foundation, six foundations, but in no order. So if I mention one product first, it doesn't mean it's the best product. It's For the first product I'm going to mention is the Black Radiance um, Oil Free Liquid Foundation. And this is what it looks like. Um, the, the inscription has been rubbed off because I've been using it a lot. I, I recently got hold of Black Radiance, that was about two months ago, and I must say I'm really loving this foundation. That's what I've used on this um, look. I used um, this particular foundation together with my MAC um, powder. But then um, I must say it's worth all the hype. The foundation is matte. I have um, oily skin. Um, when I go out there, I shine and then you can literally fry something on my face <laughs> But then um, This is what I use because it's matte um, It's lightweight and then it's medium to full coverage um, Because I have black spots and then hyperpigmentation You can see from my uh, makeup tutorials that I have black spots a lot of black spots But then now that I'm talking to you, I don't think you can see anything on my face. Can you now? No, you can't so um, it's medium to full coverage and um, it's lightweight so for those of you out there who don't like feeling who don't want who don't like to feel as if you have like heavy stuff on your face I think this is a very good foundation for you um, it's very affordable um, if you have um, less than 100 Ghana CDs you can afford this foundation because it's just about 80 Ghana CDs moving on to the next foundation this foundation is very popular in fact I know most of you who like I know a lot of you would probably have it already I know it's like it's out there and that's Mary Kay Mary Kay foundation this particular foundation this particular one um, there are two types of Mary Kay foundations that's this one and then the time wise this is the time wise so this is a new type this is the type that is really in the market now but this is the old type this is my favorite and it's my favorite because um, it gives me full coverage like Though it's medium to full coverage, when I use it once, I don't even need to build on it and then I'm good to go. And it's also matte at the same time. The problem with this particular foundation is that if you leave it on your face without blending in as soon as possible, it will dry up. And once it dries, it's very, very, very difficult um, blending it in. That's the problem I had with this foundation when I first started doing makeup. I got it and I, I, I didn't think it was going to be that difficult to blend in once it dried up. But it was really difficult so once you get it um once you apply it to your face you need to start blending in if not it will dry up and once it dries up you get patches so that's a problem but all in all it's a very good foundation so if you're looking for a foundation that is less than 100 Ghana cities this particular um mary kate um, foundation is within that range um, the third foundation that i'm going to talk about is um it's also quite popular among makeup artists and that's Revlon, Revlon Color Stay. Um, I've been using this product for over a year now and it's one of my favorite foundations. Like, I really like it too. I especially like it on people, not myself. Um, not myself because, um, I don't know, I, I don't know why I don't like it on myself but I just like using it on clients because it looks really good. Like, the finishing is perfect. Um, it's perfect. So yeah, <laughs> Revlon Color Stay is um, about um, 85 Ghana CDs, 85 to 100 Ghana CDs. So if you're looking for a foundation that is within that budget, um, within that range, um, Revlon Color Stay is also very good for you. It's also good for people with black spots and acne. You know, um, those of us who have acne and like are still struggling with it, sometimes you just want to like hide your face under the surface of the egg. But you can't so you need to hide your face in makeup now these are the products that are good for us so yes 
the third foundation that I'm going to talk about has been like out there um, in recent times um, every Ghanaian is like talking about it and sometimes when you even go out to work when I go out to work I get people asking me do you have this foundation and when I say no they go like oh I'm like I have other foundation so I just like I had to like get it because I, I was hearing a lot about it and I felt like okay let me just try it and see because there was like so much hype and I must confess that it's worth all the hype um, that's the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Foundation. Maybelline has a store here in Ghana now and it's getting popular every day. Maybell um, this particular foundation is medium to full coverage and I, have, I haven't tried it personally yet but I have tried it on um, quite a number of clients and I like the finishing. It's, um, it's buildable meaning once um, you use the first coat and it doesn't, it doesn't look... Um, Flawless. You can add a second coat and it will look perfect. So that's Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This particular one was about 85 Ghana CDs and it's within that range. It's a very good brand and the good thing about it is that it's everywhere. Like you can easily go out there and get hold of it. But you have to be very careful where you get your products from. You, you shouldn't buy, you don't need to buy foundations or makeup under the sun and all that. So yes. Um, that's it for Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. The third product that I'm going to talk about is um, Black Opal. Um, this particular one is the stick foundation. This is what it looks like. Um, I got this about a year ago and I've been using it. I use it on myself. Um, the problem with the stick foundation is blending. Um, once you apply it, it's like you just put it on your face like you are scraping something. <laughs> once you apply it to your face it's very difficult blending and that's my opinion I find it really difficult blending um, um, this particular stick foundation and I don't know if it's just my technique but um, the first time I managed to like get the coverage right I I liked the way it looked on me it has a very like fine finishing it's it's matte um, but it only it's only matte up to a certain period of time but afterwards it gets like it starts getting oily starts to shine and all but um i feel those of you with like dry skin this would also work for you but you need to know how to like blend properly um so that's it for black opal it was about 60 ghana cities about a year ago it was about 60 ghana cities at this moment i can't tell but yes the last product, last but not the least product I'm going to talk about is L'Oreal um, True Match Foundation. That's what it looks like. And I just like the packaging. It's so cute. Like, <laughs> you can eat it up like that. Not literally, but it's just so cute. Um, but I really find it very difficult um, building. Like, um, if you have black spots and acne and all that, um, I'm not sure you would want to... Um, I'm not sure you want to get this this is for people with like flawless skin you know what i mean those who go out there without makeup and their skin is looking like really fine this is for them <laughs> so if you have such if you if you know your skin is like that it falls within that flawless that flawless range this is what you need um that's the l'oreal true match foundation it's very good for such people and it's also very affordable this particular one was about 85 ghana cities i'm not too sure but it was yeah, it's also below 100 Ghana cities. So that's it for L'Oreal and True Match Foundation. Now, there are lots of stores out there you can buy your products from. We have Instagram is making it very easy for people to buy um, makeup. I can sit in my house and just make a phone call and then get products at my doorstep. Um, but then you have to like be very careful where you get your products from because um, I'll just advise you to be very careful when you're getting your products, when you're getting your makeup. You need to be extra careful. Um, then again, I have about four or five stores I would leave under the um, description box. I buy my stuff from EJ Beauty Store, Nene Makeup Artistry, also um, a beauty store. And then I get some other products from um, Rosé and others out there. So I'll just leave um, the link down below. I try my best to put down their Instagram handles and their Facebook name so that once you click on it you can just get straight to the store that's it for today I think I have mentioned about six foundations six foundations that are less than a hundred Ghana CDs and it's very affordable 
you can get these products from Nene Beauty Store, you can get it from EJ Beauty Store, you can get it from Rosé. These are the stores I remember of head because I, I buy from them. But then there are also some stores out there that are very good, so you can buy from them. That's it for my foundation, um, foundations that are less than 100 Ghana CDs. Um, I hope this video has helped you. If you have any more questions, you can comment it, leave it under the comment section. You can email me, you can call me, you can text me if you have my phone number. <laughs> so, um, thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel and then you like this video, please subscribe. Subscription is free and then it encourages us to shoot more videos and then it, it tells us what you guys want. So that's why we usually tell you to subscribe. So if you like the video and you feel like you want to see more videos from me, subscribe. You can like the video. I mean, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. If you feel like it helped you in a way, you can give it a like up and I'll see you in my next video follow me on Instagram follow me on Facebook um, yeah that's it <laughs> bye